I'm going to give you five ways to get free publicity and credibility, you know, it in uh in the um in the um <laughs> sorry, I lose my train of thought, in the uh PR realm. So this is what you want to do. You want to send out press releases. Now, when you're sending out press releases, make sure that you have an attention grabbing headline. You want to stand out from all other press releases that the journalists get daily. Now, there are plenty of press release sites on the internet where you can submit your press releases to. So you want to learn how to print a press release if you don't know how. Remember, the internet is your friend. Now, make sure that once you do submit your press release, to follow up with the media. Now, there's a site called HARO, H-A-R-O, and HARO stands for Help a Reporter Out, and they are always looking for stories for the media. Now, go to HARO, www.haro.com, and sign up with them. And promote your press releases on social media sites, all social media sites, be it LinkedIn, a Facebook, Instagram, or wherever. And don't get weary and upset if you send out your press releases and you don't see any payoff for days, weeks, or months. As long as you keep being consistent and offering newsworthy stories and expert help in your niche, Continuous effort will get rewarded. And let me see if I have any comments. No, I do not. Now, you want to become an authority in your field. Now, be someone in your niche or your field who the media can turn to for quotes, to answer questions, to explain information to their audiences, and so forth. In other words, you want to provide value. You want to be seen by your ideal clients, customers, and community as being value to them. Now ask yourself this question, what's in it for them instead of what's in it for you? This will get you in the news on a more frequent basis, but with maybe less splash. Now you want to be the subject of a news story. Now, what do you mean by that, Deborah? What, what I mean by is that is, let's say you have a provocative or a controversial product, service, or speech that's worthy of being news, or your business is holding an event to raise money for a worthy cause or for a nonprofit. This will get you in the media for a short burst of time, but just know that each time you want to get back into the media, you will need to come up with another brilliant newsworthy idea. Now join my Facebook group for support for spectacular speakers. Like I said, we have a new a community for new and aspiring speakers, and I'd love for you to come and be a part of my Facebook group community support for spectacular speakers. Now you can write a book. That's another free way to get publicity. And that's a great way to get free publicity. It's easier to write a book now, nowadays, and self-promote a book than ever before. If you want to stand out from the crowd, writing a book will give you authority, will give you an authority advantage. Media still remains a proven vehicle for promoting and selling books. Ask yourself some questions that will pique a journalist's interest. Do you have chapters in your book that is media worthy? What value does your book add? By writing a book, it definitely will establish you as an expert in your field and get you plenty of free exposure. Podcast and TV interviews are another way to get great publicity and public relations. People are always looking for experts to come on their podcasts and TV shows. 
And it's not as difficult as you might think to get on these shows. The interviewers have airtime that they need to fill and they are always on the lookout for interesting topics and interesting people. This can turn out to be a win-win situation for both of you. You will both be helping, you will be helping them out and they will be helping you out. That's the win-win situation right there. Now you want to target local or national TV stations and podcast shows that cater to your market. Once you contact them, you will, you will need to convince them that you would be a great candidate for a ratings grabbing interview. Now, if you do a good job of convincing them, that then they will contact you and find out more about you. 